Welcome to DPV Technology. In this video, we will learn how to connect this OV7670 Arduino Cam with Arduino. So let's get started. You can buy all types of electronic components, modules, sensors at best price from www.dpvtechnology.com. The OV7670 camera module is a low cost 0.3 megapixel CMOS camera module. It can output 640 into 480 VGA resolution image at 30 frames per second. That means 30 FPS. It requires 3.3 volt that we can supply from our Arduino board to power this module. To connect this module with Arduino Uno, we need this Uno, this module, camera module OV7670, two 10K resistors, two 4.7K resistors and a breadboard and some male to male and male to female connecting wires. Here is our connection diagram. The link to download this connection diagram is given in the description of this video. You can download from there. So here is the OV7670 camera module and this is the Arduino Uno. So we have to connect according to this diagram and there are lots of wires. So be careful during connections because if there is loose connection then you will not get the output now here are the connections uh, here to uh, 4.7k resistors and uh, here is to 10k resistors and this is the uno board and this is the module now we have to follow some instructions one by one uh, to work this module properly so let's go to the computer now at first we have to download java zdk for windows 32 bit if you have 64 bit operating system you have to also download this 32-bit uh, Java ZDK file, not 64-bit. Okay, let's go to download it. The link is in the description of this video. You can go to the description and download from there. When you click the link given in the description, you will be redirected to this space. Then you have to go to this here, Windows 86. Then we have to download this. First, we have to accept this license here. Then we have to download now install it you may ask to sign up for the first time in their website so you fill up the required fields and then you can download this now open your arduino id software and then you can copy and paste this code the link is given in the description of this video now before uploading we have to go to tools and then we have to go to port and then we have to select this port if this port is in between 1 and 5 then we can move to the next step but if this com port is not in between 1 and 5 then we have to go to device manager to go to device manager first go to your search bar of your computer then search device manager D -I -V -E -C -I, device manager here we can see now click on device manager now here go to port ports then here we can see arduino ports right click on it then go to properties then go to port setting then go to advance here we can see com port number so we have to sense this com port number in between one and five we can choose also one and also five also we can choose but in one and five this is the range we have to choose one two or three or four or five if com ports are different then we have to select one of these uh, in between one and uh, five okay so our in our case it is four it is okay we don't have to uh, send it if you have you if you have to send it then and if you select it and after that press okay and then here also we have to press uh, click okay now there are five compressed folders named as com1.rar com2.rar com3.rar com4.rar com5.rar we have to download one of them according to our port number since in our case we have the com port number 4 
in our Arduino tools, we can see our COM is port 4. So we have to download the COM4.RAR. Download according to your port number. Links of these folders are given in the description of this video. Now extract the downloaded folder. So I am using 7-zip to extract this file. So now extract here. Now here we can see this is the extracted folder. So copy this code folder, copy and then go to your C program as C folder, then go to program files, then go to Java, here is Java, then go to ZDK, then go to bin and then we have to paste this folder here. So paste continue after that we have to download this arducamp.rar folder from the description given in the in this video then we have to extract this again now we have to extract it so again i will extract it extract here so there will be three folders here. We can see lib, src, and win32.com.dll. So first we have to copy this win32.com.dll file and then go to your C, C, C folder, then go to uh, program files, then go to Java, then go to ZDK, then go to JRE, then go to bin and then paste it here. Click continue. Again, you go to your Arducam extracted folder, then go to lib, then copy this com, com file, and then again go to your C drive, then program file x. 86 then java then again jdk again jre then go to lib after that go to ext folder here then paste it here Click on continue. Next, again go to your extracted folder. Then go to your lib folder again from the extracted R2CAM folder. So, here copy this javax.com.properties. Then again go to your C drive, then program files then java then zdk then jre then lib then paste it here then click on continue Now go to your C drive again, then here create a folder named out, small letter O U T, sorry O U T, then enter. Now I will keep this box in front of the module and then we will capture images of this box. Now go to your Arduino IDE, then upload this code. The link is given in the description of this video. Okay, it is uploaded. Now, now go to your C drive again. Here, go to your C drive, then go to program files again. Again, go to Java. 
then go to jdk again then go to bin again then click on here here then write here cmd sorry cmd then press enter then the command prompt will be open now we have to send command here we have to write java j a b a sorry j a b a space then c o d e code dot capital s i m p l e simple then capital r e a d then press enter so we can see port name looking for image so found image zero then save image one now we have to go to this our out folder here then here we can see the images here here the bmp images so we can see now the images now it is taking images this is the first image and this is the second image the first five images first five or four images will be of lower quality so so we can see this is the image number two it will take images one after another it will capture images one after another you can see here there are three images now save image four so we can see we let let me minimize this now so here we can see this is image number four that is zero one two three four then found image four that means number four we can see the quality is here number four so here we can see raspberry pi 4 computer here here is the raspberry pi 4 computer so here we can see the images here so first four images will be of lower quality in this way the camera module will take the images unless and until you have to press ctrl c so we can see it will not take now images so it is so it is done so if your image qualities are too poor then you have to check your connections properly if the if there is loose connection then image quality may be poor or in the code at the last of this code we have to sense this we can set this number 9 or 10 or 11 or 13 check with your camera module so in our case we kept it we have kept it at at 10 but if your image quality is poor then you have to send it to you can send it to 9 10 11 or 13 you can buy all types of electronic components modules sensors at best price from www.dpvtechnology.com